In certain circumstances, when dealing with patients who have quite resistant uh, nerve pain, um, they have um, people have come up to me and talked and asked me about Botox. Um, specific um, neuropathy, particularly related to peripheral neuropathy, and this is uh, nerve-related pain in the uh, peripheries of your of your uh, body, particularly the hands or in the feet, um, Botox can be used um, and, and there's been some evidence for its use. The aim of these, uh, the Botox treatment is to, is to basically dumb down the effect of these small peripheral uh, uh, nerves such that the pain that is elicited from them is, is, is negated. Um, the treatment itself um, will uh, is normally done in the clinical room of the Nine Harley Street and it is something that is done under local anaesthetic. Um, it, there has been some uh, evidence of its use, uh, particularly uh, for post-hepatic neuralgia and hence the, ne the necessity or the, the ex or, or, or should I say the extrapolation of that to uh, Botox for these type of uh, peripheral nerve related pains. Um, it's normally done in uh, under local anaesthetic. Uh, it normally would take about 45 minutes to do, uh, but in essence, once the area has been demarcated, uh, where, uh, which which is the painful area and um, and and is the area to be treated, then the administration in small amounts uh, of uh, of Botox uh, into the area sub subdermally is is, is normally uh, performed. Um, the treatment itself is not very painful, however, there are potential effects of or increasing your pain for a short period of time after the procedure, and there is also um, a potential of causing some bruising or possibly bleeding. Um, we do have to uh, sterilize the place, uh, the, or the place or the area that is being treated uh, with uh, some sterile fluids to make sure that it's all very clean. Uh, but however, on top of that, there is a risk of infection, and this is always something that we have to say when performing these type of interventional procedures. Um, uh, we do have to say also on top of that, um, uh, as mentioned before, the pain might actually get a little bit worse for a short period of time because we do have to say that we are putting another needle into a painful part of your body and that can aggravate things a little bit. Um, and also there is a risk of uh, potential nerve damage. Um, what the, the, potent, uh, the use of this uh, treatment modality for patients uh, with, with nerve-related pain will be discussed with you. And clearly, in certain circumstances, there are quite obvious reasons why uh, a, a patient is suffering from pain, particularly if it's related to the spinal cord. There is a, particularly if it is related to the spinal cord, there is a potential of um, uh, causing uh, or another treatment to be used uh, and that might include a steroid injection or, uh, or an epidural of sorts. Um, in, in certain circumstances the, uh, the, the pain itself that is related to the nerve can be dampened down by the Botox and the effects of it can, be, uh, can last many many months. In certain circumstances again it can be, re uh, it can be repeated uh, but we have got some very good results uh, uh, since we've started to use it. Um, if you'd like to find out more, please get in contact with us and we can discuss it further uh, uh, and discuss whether or not you would be a suitable candidate for this type of procedure.